Good evening and welcome to another tutorial. What we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to go over the same issue taking of a bottle of wine and a glass of wine, uh, taken in the studio, uh, and basically go through the steps to give it a good clean and tidy up um, so it's a presentable product image. The overall things that we're going to do is we are going to do things like levels um, so it looks straight, uh, clean and tidy up uh, the image with a spot healing tool. Uh, tied up any shadows, uh, cast light casts, um, marks on the bottles, add a bit of uh, additional lighting onto the label, and then add a colour to the background. So let's get kicked off. Uh, all I've simply done so far is I've just dragged the image straight into Adobe Camera Rule, and I'm just going to go through my basic settings. Um, these are obviously all the, the settings that I use as a norm. Uh, what you use is obviously entirely up to you. So that's it, that's all my basics. And let's click on open image. And what we can do is wait for it to come up into Photoshop. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is press Control J and duplicate the layer. And what we're gonna do now is select the spot healing tool, which is over this side. Um, once we select the spot healing tool, we can use the square brackets to make uh, the, the brush size a lot smaller, so it's a lot more manageable, um, so we can zoom in and we get a lot finer control over the editing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go away and use the spot healing tool just to clean and tidy up this image, uh, just to make it look a little bit more presentable. So just bear with me for a few and I'll just whiz round. I'm not going to go into vast detail with this. Um, all I'm going to be doing is just getting rid of most of the basics uh, that are obvious in the image. Um, you now let's just make it a little bit cleaner uh, and presentable, really. And yes, you'll just have to ignore my Instagram there. Somebody forgot to sign out, didn't they, Andrew? Okay, and just doing a little bit of uh, clean up on the, the stem of the glass, because uh, obviously you get that the few imperfections uh, in the glass itself. Okay, and let's do a bit, little bit of ta clean tidy up uh, on the the wood. And all I'm going to do, you can see it is a bit dusty. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of all the main gloves of dust, which in essence stand out. Uh, I'm not worried about this bottom bit here because that's all going to get cropped out uh, when we've done. Likewise with that. Okay, I think we are about done. Okay, so that's my basic initial tidy up, uh, all a lot cleaner. Um, I've left some of the, oh, that's, that's one I do need to get rid of. Uh, I've left uh, little things, little details in there which I don't want to remove, like the reflection of the bottle in the glass. You know, and there's a little bit of reflection there, which again is one thing that we mentioned in the lesson. Um, you do have to be careful um, of reflections around you when you're photographing glass because if there's a reflection there to be had you can guarantee you'll get it okay that's my initial cleanup done uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the the marquee tool which is over here on the left second one down and I'm going to just going to get my crop right uh, from the start and let's just select how I want this image to be viewed okay and then we'll go to image and crop and that's basically going to be my finished canvas size when I'm done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to level this up. So you can, the way I do this is by using one of the guides uh, along a straight edge. So click on the left, hold the left mouse button down on the ruler, and you can drag a guide down uh, over onto uh, the horizontal 
edge there and what I can do is I can get that in the middle of the two sides and then I can twist the image. If your Photoshop isn't showing the rulers, you can click on view and click rulers or press Ctrl R as a shortcut key. Once my guide's in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool and then when I move my mouse pointer to the corner, you'll see it turns into a double headed arrow. And this gives me the ability to rotate this image. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate just slightly, just so it's level. And yep, yeah, happy with that. And when you're done, you can either press click on the tick or press the enter key. When you do this, you'll notice that you'll end up usually with some of these little gaps around the side. Um, you can either use the marquee tool again, just to simply just to crop them out. Or you can use the spot healing tool and just to fill them, fill them back in again afterwards. So I'll use the marquee tool, go to image and crop, just to lose that little bit. There we go. And now I can remove my guide. So we get that done and gone out of the way. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of light and brightness onto this uh, label here, just this front part, um, because what I want to do is just brighten up the centre uh, a little bit. Uh, really, when we took the image, it should have put a little bit more light um, directed onto the label. The way we do this is by adding a adjustment layer down the bottom and brightness and contrast. <clears throat> all I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the brightness, forgetting all the rest of the image, just concentrating on this central area, adjust the brightness to bring it a little bit more bright, you know, add a bit more light into the label itself. And once I've got that to an acceptable level, I'll then press Control i on the keyboard with the, my layer mask selected, and that will invert that mask, and I can now use the paintbrush tool Again, use my square brackets to make it bigger. And I can now paint that brightness back into the label. There we go. And if I find an, I need uh, a bit more light, you know, I can just adjust and play with the opacity. So I'm going to put that back to as it was. I'm going to put my opacity back up to 100. And pull it back again again. And there we go. Okay. Fine, I'm happy with that. And while I've got this brightness layer selected, I'm just going to add a, a touch of light there onto the top of the bottle, um, just to brighten up, uh, just that word in just a little bit. Okay, now we've done that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a duplicate of all these layers. And the shortcut key for that is Shift, Control, Alt, E. Press all them four keys together, and that'll create a brand new layer uh, which is a, a culmination of all the layers below it. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to add in a bit of colour into the background. So to do this, basically we need to sandwich uh, a colour layer in between two copies of this. So, with your layer 2 selected, press Control J, which will make a copy of this layer, and then we can hide that then, and reselect our layer below it, our layer 2. Now if we click on the new layer icon, and that will insert a new layer in between, and we now need to change the layer type to soft light. What this will do is, this will give us an, a nice soft light, uh, rather than a harsh colour. And it will look nice, um, just as though we've got uh, a flash down the back of the base, shining up onto the background uh, with a gel on it. And for this instance, I'm going to use the colour picker, and I'm going to select my colour. Um, I'm going to try a couple of different colours here. I'm going to try a bright yellow to start with. And let's see how this kind of looks uh, on the image. Uh, it's going to have a, a nice big wide brush, and just to make sure that your brush is soft. So with your brush tool selected, if you right click in the image, you'll see your hardness. You need to make sure that your hardness is down to zero. And then when you've selected that, just click off the image and that, the box will go. 
So, okay, now I'm gonna fire in some color. Okay, and to me, yellow doesn't really work. Um, you know, all, all I'm concentrating on is the background. So I'm gonna undo that, and I'm gonna try a different color. Let's go for a green. Let's try that one. No, don't like that at all. Uh, I think it's going to be a red, um, which is what I used originally. So we'll fire some red in there. Okay, and that's going to give me, uh, let's move it across a little bit, a nice little glow coming up the background behind the bottle. Now what we need to do is we need to remove the red from the bottle and the glass. So we'll make our, lay our top layer visible again, um, which you'll see that'll hide that red that we just put on. If we now add a, a layer mask, which is a square with a black dot in it in the middle, then you'll see this appear here. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna use uh, a, red, uh, a, a black and white brush to pull back in the red from the layer below. So if you, with white selected, if you paint, you'll see that it does nothing. And what we, because what we need to do is we need to go to a black brush, and you'll see now if we paint in, we'll now see this lovely little red glow starting to come behind our product. And all we're going to do is is just bring in the overall colour into back into the image, uh, so we're happy with it. And what we can do now is move back to our white brush and start removing it out of our product and what I'll do is I shall go quiet for a few minutes while I just get all this painted back out okay uh, this is a bit you just have to be it's a bit tedious and you just have to be careful and take your time um, to make sure that you remove off uh, any colour spill that you might have that's gone over onto your product. And to start with, we're going to remove it off all the glass of wine. Um, but we'll come back to that one in a few moments. Okay. And let's zoom in a little bit and let's just tidy up our edges. There will be a little bit of painting back in, um, which is fine. You now we can sort out any edges in a, in a moment. Uh, all this might be doing to start with is just getting the initial bulk of this redness removed from the image. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the shift key here because uh, we've got a nice straight edge there. So what I want to do is if I click at this end, where I want to start, hold the shift key and click at the other end. You'll see now it'll just remove all that. Let's do it again, it's a little bit higher. There we go. And that just gives me a nice straight edge across the across the back. Okay, that's all that done. And let's just um Remove it out of the stem. So, in essence, what we've done is we are now back to our clean product and clean wine glass. What we do need to do is, is obviously remember that this is glass, so it's see through. So, what we need to do is change the opacity of our brush to 50%, thereabouts, and we're going to paint back in the redness behind the glass. So switch our brush to black and this allows us to paint just a little hint of red back through the glass. Okay and you just have to think about how the red is on your background behind. And if you make a mistake always use the normal control Z to undo. 
and we're just going to paint a bit in down the stem because yeah, again it's glass all the way down to the bottom okay and that fills our lighting back in and what you can do with this red layer is you go back to the move tool if you need to just adjust your red layer you can click on this layer and use the move tool and actually move your red layer from one side to another or up and down you know just if you want to just reposition it there we go and yeah i'm quite happy with that it's all nice and clean and tidy and to finish off i'm going to um again shift alt control e to create a new layer which is a culmination of all them below and for those who use nick tools um you can use the sharpening tool and just add a touch of sharpness onto the label just to really make it pop so if you select the output sharpener from nick tools and these are my default settings that i'll use if i ever need to use this and i'll simply click ok on that for the time being and that sharpness will then get applied to the whole image uh, and what we can do is mask out the image or the sharpening and paint it back in uh, just where we need it so on our sharpener pro 3 level we shall add a layer mask and we will press Control i to invert select our paintbrush put our opacity back up to 100 and if we zoom in on our label and make our brush a little bit bigger and all we're going to do now with a white brush is just add a little bit of sharpening to this label and this will really make this label pop out really make the text stand out and the texture in the in the paper uh, and on the delicate corners and we're going to add a little bit just up here onto the top top writing and see how that just really ju makes it jump out at you it really does make a big difference okay so there we go that's our finished product image in a, a rush kind of way so obviously when you've done that you can save it away as a jpeg um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a couple of extra little things that you can do with your image um i.e to try and add a like i say for instance you want to add a bit of a lighting effect uh, coming into the side here so we're going to quickly just cover that so we'll shift Control alt t create a new layer and over by the marquee tool if you click and hold your mouse button down you'll be able to select the polygonal lasso tool with this selected all we're going to simply do is draw a shape onto our image because i want to cast a light over on this glass so follow the kind of shape that i'm making here uh, something that kind of shape um you know it's kind of a light beam shape and once we've done that, what we're going to do is add a brightness adjustment to that selection. So we'll click on our adjustment layer and go to brightness and contrast. And all we're going to do is raise the brightness up and you'll see the brightness appear in this area. Yeah, see how we got this beam of light coming in now? And yes, it, it looks jagged at the moment, um, but we're just going to change that in a second. So we can just hide the properties of that now. Our next step is to add a, a Gaussian blur to this, which will basically soften all this light, remove all these hard edges, and uh, make it more like a beam of light. So go up to the top to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. You want to go for a really nice high blur on, on the radius, you know, average around about 140, 150 pixels, and click OK. And what that'll do is that'll see how it's softened all that light. And this is a very, very gentle edit, this one is. Uh, if I hide, show and hide the layer, you'll see just that tiny little bit of light that it's added to 
um, the side of the image coming in. I quite like that effect, it's quite nice. The next little effect we're going to do is using black and white brushes on a, a soft light layer uh, just to darken certain areas and aspects of the image. So we shall add a new layer. We'll change the layer type to soft light. Click on the little black and white squares to reset our brushes to default. And I want a black brush this time. And then we'll select our brush. And we're going to go for a really big brush, really make it big. Again, nice soft brush. And all we're going to do is add a, some, add a bit of black uh, just to dull down the side of the image, just to take people's focus away from it. So we're just clicking there, and that's all we're doing is just very gentle, a little bit of black light in there, you know, just to remove the focus and the lighting. Maybe a little bit down this corner. There we go. You can do the same with a white brush. You know, if we swap our brushes using the little arrows or pressing the X key to, to go to a white brush, you know, we can remove that uh, brightness and contrast one and we can just use this kind of um, brush adjustment and just click in there, you know, we can add a completely different lighting effect. Well, let's undo that and let's change the opacity down to about 50 and try it again. It's a little bit more gentle. So we're getting some nice light coming in there. And I mean, what you can do is if you want to have a bit of warm light coming in, let's undo that again. Let's click on our, our white square and we'll have the colour picker. And let's go to a nice warm orange colour. And if you want to, you can use this one. Let's click on the image again. Yeah, it's introducing a nice little bit of, of warm orange light into the, uh, into the image there from the side. All personal preference, it's entirely up to you how you do it. So there we go, that concludes um, our little tutorial for, for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, by all means, feel free to ask any questions down below. And obviously if you are viewing this and you're local to Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire, and you'd like to come across to Passionate Photographers Club, please feel free to get in contact with us. You know, give us a shout. Uh, have a chat to see us about what what we do at the club, um, what sort of things we cover, how we do it, what s services and equipment we've got available for you, for you as the as a club member. So yeah, ask away. So on that note, I shall say bye bye for now.